Hi, good afternoon and welcome to another episode of IJ Interviews. This time I am in Grenada in Belmont, in St George's, with the herbalist Patrick Delves. Patrick? Good evening. Good to see you again. <laughs> so, um, as you did an interview last time, yeah. and a lot of people enjoyed the interview and enjoyed the knowledge that you were sharing. So, um, what we want to target today or talk about is uh, diabetes yeah. in Grenada. So yeah. Tell me about it. Um, well, you know, diabetes is the, is the most prevalent disease in the Caribbean, especially in St. Lucia. Because one in every three persons in St. Lucia have diabetes. Whereby in Grenada, maybe one in every five. But it's a, it's a very prominent disease over here because of the high carbohydrate diet. And the high carbohydrate means high refined carbohydrates. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, our medical system here is not educating our people on how to prevent diabetes. See? Um, there is two types of diabetes. One is type 1, what they call juvenile onset diabetes, which cannot be repaired because the pancreas is damaged. And then you have type 2 diabetes, diabetes mellitus. That one could be repaired. But they're making us feel that once you have diabetes, that's it. Can't fix. And I have a problem with that. Is that through the doctors and the experts saying that? Or expert and what? Well, there's a lot of experts. Uh, expert. In today's society, or any society, believes that the doctor is God. Yeah, well, I believe God is God. Well, there's a lot that believe that the doctor, if you don't forget the herbalist, go to the doctor. Go to, <laughs> go to your GP. They know what's best. Uh, well, if the doctors are God, mm -hmm. Why you have so many people here in Grenada is taking diabetic pills forever, can't fix it. And then you have a herbalist like me who comes into Grenada hmm? mm -hmm. and have my mother offer all the pills she's been taking for both diabetes and hypertension. Follow me. And who have much more people coming off their medication by changing the lifestyle and the diet and fixing diabetes. So, okay, let's go back to the root of this. You're talking about a high <laughs> carbohydrate di um, diet. Refined carbohydrate. So, what are we looking at in terms of food to look out for? The sort of food that cause the onset of diabetes? Well, first we have to find out what the pancreas does. Right. That's the first thing. Right. And a lot of people in Grenada are what we call uneducated about what the pancreas does. See, once you know what is the cause of your disease, you won't fix it. That's the key, right? So once you know what the pancreas does, then you will be able to fix diabetes, although it's a complex disease. It could damage your eyes, give you neuropathy, diabetic um, neuropathy, damage your eyes, also damage your kidneys, we know that. But we could prevent the disease from causing troubles in all these places by finding out what it does. Now the pancreas do two things. It produces insulin, and it produces enzymes. That's all it does. So it is part of our digestive system. See? So you have to know how your pancreas works. Now the pancreas produces what we call digestive enzymes because there are two parts of the pancreas. One is called the exocrine part of the pancreas, which produces enzymes, and one is called the endocrine part of the pancreas, which produces the hormone called insulin. See? So how do people get diabetes? Now, in the body, there is a system called a pH system, potential hydrogen. And in the, in the, in the pancreatic secretion, there is a pH, potential hydrogen, that falls under an alkaline terrain, meaning that it's, it's between 8.0, 8.3. Eh? Now, in Grenada, we have an acid diet. So what happens to people who are prone to getting diabetes is they kill the exocrine part of the pancreas that produces the, the, the enzymes. So when they eat a starch food, the starch food is an acid food and it causes the pancreatic secretion to change from 8.3 to 5.0, which is acid, acidic. Now once that pH changes from there to there, it puts your pancreas at risk. Because now your pancreas have to work extra hard to produce these enzymes in the exocrine part of the pancreas.
And that's where diabetes steps in. So who is the God? Up there. I ain't no God, but I have knowledge and wisdom. And I use that. See there, you see, the average doctor goes by what he was taught in school. I go by what my father teaches me. How to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So once you know what the pancreas does, you can fix diabetes. Now, the doctors don't tell you that there are different forms of it. Insulin resistance, insulin sensitivity, or insulin deficiency. They don't tell you that. They don't give you a pill. Now, I will look at you and say, okay, you're overweight. So once you're overweight, you have, you're suffering from what we call insulin resistance. Meaning that the insulin cannot get in to the receptor sites to shoot the sugar there. So it stays in your blood. You get diabetes. You lose the weight. Diabetes is gone. If you have insulin sensitivity, meaning you are sensitive to the insulin, you could eat, you, Mr. Ingram, Ingram, could eat one slice of bread and your sugar stays normal. And I will eat, I will eat one slice of bread, my sugar goes high. That's what we call insulin sensitivity. See what I'm saying? So you have to know which one it is. But they don't pay attention to that. And that's where they're going wrong. And that's why we have so much diabetics in the Grenada. And that is why we have a lot of diabetics losing their kidneys and their limbs. Because the medical system is not educating our people. So what's the sort of diet a typical or general Grenadian would have which would cause such? Yam, tania, dashin, white sugar, brown sugar, white bread, white sugar, all these things are bad. Everything white is bad. White sugar, white bread, white salt, white flour, they're all terrible. Why? Because when you use white sugar, white sugar is polished. White rice is polished. They all polish foods. So what the system does, they're not like nuts and seeds. What the system does is they 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 rip all the natural vitamins and minerals from these foods. And then when they when they when they when they when they when they process these same foods, they put back some artificial vitamins, which the body is not prone to, can't function well. So you eat these foods, and all of a sudden you feel you're eating something good. Damages the pancreas, damages the heart, damages the circulatory system, damages the colon. Because white bread have yeast, gluten, lard. So when you eat the white bread, it not only damages the pancreas, but it damages the intestines. The large, the large bowel levels. So we know for a fact that when you eat a starch food, a starch food like a yam or rice or potatoes, do not break down in your stomach. They don't teach people these things. The yam, the rice, and the bread, they break down in your in your mouth, in your saliva, with the enzymes that your saliva produces. And then when it gets into the stomach, your acid in your stomach kills the amylase that breaks down your starch food. So the starch cannot remain in your stomach. It has to move into your small intestines where your pancreas shoots a little bit more of that same enzyme to break it down there. See? So if you eat two acid foods together, a protein and a starch, yam, rice, with fish or chicken, you will have trouble with diabetes if you're prone because these foods become idle. The protein that is, keep the starch idle in the stomach, which in turn cause acid to form which in turn changes the pH of the pancreatic secretion into an acid terrain and put the pancreas at risk of you getting diabetes. But they don't teach the people that. Why? I can't keep saying the word why. Well, you know, if they teach you that, all the drugs won't sell. If they teach you that, they won't have no dialysis machines. It's all about greed. So I see. So I'm here to teach people to fix diabetes. Now, if you have diabetes, if you have insulin resistance, if you have insulin sensitivity, there are certain things that the pancreas needs to function. GTF chromium, glucose tolerance factor. A lot of people don't know that. You use GTF chromium, 
you see a difference in your sugar levels. 800 micrograms per day. That's number one. Number two, magnesium. They all found around that area, the pancreas. See? That's a, 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 a third one is zinc. See? They all found there. So if you are lacking in these things, in these minerals, how your pancreas is going to work? Well, because the body functions on vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, enzymes. So if you're eating food that, 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 that is stripped of the vitamins, how are you going to function? How the organs going to feed off of these vitamins? They can't feed. So that's why the natural food, the natural green foods, is important. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the reason why we have to educate our people. Now, the, the exocrine part of your pancreas produces enzymes. It produces protease, lipase, a fat enzyme, a protein enzyme, and amylase, a starch enzyme. See? Now, if the pancreas is not working well, the exocrine part of the pancreas, and you have your exocrine part of your pancreas producing in, uh, enzymes internally inside the, the exocrine part of the pancreas, you must get diabetes because your pancreas have to produce these enzymes outside the exocrine part of your pancreas. But a lot of people with a lot of diabetes don't have that. They produce inside it. The exocrine part of the pancreas. So what happens to you? You get that means long term. So I want to go back to what you said. You said there's type one and type two. Yeah. Type one can't fix. Why? Because the the, the, the pancreas is damaged. Either a virus kills the pancreas, or the immune system attacks it. It's called an autoimmune disease. So if the immune system takes the pancreas as foreign and attacks it, it kills it. You can't produce. You, you can't produce no insulin. You gotta shoot it forever for life. But, some patients come to me and they're taking insulin and we could cut down on the, on the insulin load by using certain things as herbs and minerals. So if the person is taking, say they're taking 40 units of insulin per day, we could cut it down to 10 units per day. Or sometimes, like I have a patient, 18 years old, they told me he had type 1 diabetes and they put him on insulin, and I gave him one month of trial, take him off the insulin, changing his diet. So, you know, they're not God. They could be wrong the same way too. They could be imperfect men. Be imperfect people, brother. You know what I'm saying? So that is one of the problems we have in Grenada. Diabetes. And I have a lot of young men have, a lot of young people getting it now, the children too. Because we are not educating our people on how to eat the foods. So then you go to a dietitian, and the first thing the dietitian tells you is a lot of starches in the diet. See? And when you have diabetes and you have you have what you call hypoglycemia, sugar goes high, you end up in the general. <laughs> they give you some insulin, it comes down. But the next morning, what do they give you? They give you some bread <laughs> and some yam. Same starch. Back up, up again. So back up again. Education is key. So we have to educate our people. So re-education of our people because clearly there's a very high percentage of people with diabetes in Croatia. Yeah, young clearly. people too. Young people. So it's getting worse. It's getting worse and it's going to get worse every day because now we are implementing a foreign diet. So we won't even have diabetes only. We're going to have heart disease, cancers. We've got cancers on the rise too. See what I'm saying? Because we are importing another man's diet. And what I learned from Dr. Michael Tierra, one of the best communists to grow, is if you eat what you grow and grow what you eat, because once you incorporate someone else's diet, you're going to get the next man's disease. That's common sense. See what I'm saying? What might be good for one man may not be good for you. You understand? So when you're living in a climate, the foods that you eat correspond to your bloodstream. And that's why the the, the, the the motto is eat what you grow and grow what you eat. So I don't eat yam. I don't eat tani. I don't eat breadfruit. You don't eat breadfruit? I, no, I don't eat them fruits. Man. They're starches. the sugars. You understand? They spike your sugar high. And for me, the my sugar level is supposed to be 70 to 100 FBS. Fast blood sugar testing in the morning. They tell you 70 to 110. I'm saying 110 is too high. 
because if you have a high sugar diet in the morning and your sugar is 110 it's going to spike to 180 and I don't believe that your sugar should reach that high after you eat so I'm saying 70 to 100 if you eat 5 grams of sugar your sugar level is supposed to go to 140 and in 10 minutes back down the road but when you eat the refined carbohydrates the refined sugars that's what it is your sugar levels goes up quick and come down slow but when you eat the complex carbohydrates your sugar goes up slow and come down fast so okay patrick how do people get in contact with you because you've shared a wealth of knowledge that people say i want to know more about what he does yeah. how do they contact you well i have a uh Email address natural mystic m y s t i c grenada at gmail.com. Can you repeat that one more time? Natural mystic grenada at gmail.com or Patrick Dell's Facebook. Or uh, my number is 416 um, 473 416 2310 or 538 2864 or 449 8715. One more time, the, the telephone numbers. Telephone again. numbers again 473 416 Two three one zero five three eight two eight six four or four four nine eight seven one five. Patrick Dells, thank you so much for sharing your no experience, no your wisdom, you. your knowledge. <laughs> the Bayloric TV. Yeah, I depend on the most for knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Patrick Dells yeah. for Bayloric TV. Please. We're out. Thanks a lot.